the margin for error for this defense is slim because a field goal would change the complexion of this game. Can they get the stop they need? Back to throw. And the catch made by Hilton. 39 yards the distance covered on the catch and run. But big plays back and forth just continue. Both offenses excelling. And I hear the excitement in your voice while you're calling this game. This hurts my soul as a defensive player watching these teams go up and down the field and put points on the Do board. me a favor the rest of the way. Sit back, relax, and just appreciate the offensive dominance that's going on out here. I'll give it a shot. They'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. In possession for the possible game winner, but they need to get up and spike it. And Pascal's got it. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. Set looks to throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. On second down, Eckler. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. So it's all up to the other Matty Ice. Matt Bryant now. This for a trip to the Super Bowl. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. It's picked up. It's a foot race. He's at the 50, the 30, 20, 10, and he takes it in for the score on the game's final play, so it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou country would say, that's a little lanyard, a little extra on top.